Hey guys, so I thought I would do another sort of semi-unboxing, me and my <laughs> semi-unboxing. So anyway, this one is from a website called seedlings.org. And what it is, it's a site where um, you could buy books for blind and visually impaired children to read, or like me, where I'm blind and I read to my kids. They have braille on them, or large print, or pretty much it really focuses on braille. In any case, they're celebrating, in August, they were celebrating their 30th anniversary, and they were having this kind of a you know, giveaway thing, where you could win a gift certificate for $100, and you could buy any of the books on their site. And I figured, well, I might as well enter. I never win anything anyway, but whatever. So I entered, and I actually won. So I got $100 worth of gifts for free, and like $100 worth of books for free, which is amazing to me. So I'm going to show you what the books are, and what they look like, and how we read to the books. And then I have two extra books, because my husband and I went on Monday to the Museum of Natural History, which we have filmed and everything, but that has to be edited. <laughs> that was our anniversary. And anyway, so we bought <laughs> books from the gift shop with the gift there. So I'll show you that because it's relevant to this. Um, I got 10 books for $100, which is amazing. One of the books is missing. We got The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Noah got a hold of it, and now no one can seem to find it. It'll come up, and we'll be able to show you <laughs> that book when it comes up. But the first one I got was this um, very first nursery rhymes. Can you see it, Ned? Can you get it well enough? It's in the shot, I just... Because I'm going to want to show them how it works, and I kind of want to see it. Okay. All right, let's go closer, shall we? Yeah. Okay, here we okay. go. So it's a board book, and I love this because I really haven't been able to find so many really good board books like this in other sites. Like, there is the National Braille Press, but I've never purchased anything from them, and I find that their board book selection is not as expensive. So you see... It has Humpty Dumpty, and then it has the nursery rhyme with the pictures and a clear overlay of plastic, which is like a sheet of Braille tape, and it has all the Braille in it so that I can read the book to the kids. But it has all the pictures. On this side, it has Little Bo Peep and Mary Mary and so forth. So that's how it works. Very awesome. <laughs> I found this website when I was pregnant with Bella, and I was like frantically researching places that I could read. This one's really cute. It's a Dr. Seuss book and it's like a baby board book version of it. I guess it's one, two fish, three, four, five fish. And it's cute. It has like a little mini abacus of the fish up top and I think it's so cute. And again, it's the same concept. The board book, which is a regular board book that you can get at any bookstore or any, wherever you get books from. And then it just has the clear overlay of plastic. And I think Della just got up to go to the bathroom. I'm pretty sure. We read the ape and the crab. We did read the ape and the crab. The ape and the crab? It's a book. It's one of the stories in the book that is coming up. Go ahead, buddy. Go back to sleep. It's very late. Can I say hi? Okay, but... Hi. <laughs> well, uh, go back. Go by Mama. Okay, but don't... I want to get his top. Because <laughs> he's not... Okay. He's not wearing good. pants. He's decided to... Night, night, buddy. <laughs> Okay, okay, go ahead, honey. Night-night. I didn't even get his face. My kid hates pants. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's what happens when I work late. <laughs> yeah. He always tries to sneak in and get up, but my husband comes home so late. Anyway, that's irrelevant. <laughs> so there's that book. And then, we, like I said, we had got and The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I don't know where that's at right now. And then we got The Very Quiet Cricket. And I love this book. It's so cute. And this is actually the boy's favorite new book. And again, it's not even on the first page, but it has all the different bugs, like that's a worm that it's talking about, and that's a spittle bug, whatever that is that it's talking about. And it's a really cute book about a cricket that can't seem to find his voice until the very end when you open it and it chirps. <laughs> and that's the boy's favorite part, which can get a little annoying after a while, <laughs> but it is really cute. So that's one way that we read to the uh, kids. Another way that we do well, that I read to the kids, my husband is there really no real. So, the way that I read to the kids is 
in this manner. This has no pictures on it. It is just a braille and print. And just like with the phonics books, the title is across this way in landscape. And it says The Sunshine Tree by Wendy Heller. And this one only, I'm just going to open it to a random page. It has print and braille only. So there's no pictures to this book. Della will actually sit through this because he's used to me reading books like this to him. So he doesn't really need pictures to this is a pretty good imagination. I think it's because of this as well. Um, what I do end up doing though is that if I can manage to find the copy of it somewhere, like a regular print copy that may have pictures, I'll actually pur purchase that and he can read along with me with whatever story I'm reading. And he has a print copy and I have the braille version. And we follow along together. But that's how this works. And this is just like an anthology of a bunch of different books. Stories from around the world that I thought was really, really cute. It has stories from Denmark, from Sweden, from Africa, Japan, India, all kinds of places. And I just really love the multicultural sort of aspect of it. So there's that one. And then we got... Oh, this is bigger. Then we got a bedtime storybook. And... It's a lot of my scarf. Again, same thing. Um, braille and print, no pictures. And that's pretty much how the rest of the books follow. This is the end of a story. I don't know if you can catch that. But you can tell that it's the end of the story because there's not much braille on it. Whereas over here is a full page. And so if I were to turn this, this would be the beginning of a new story. And this is actually the grasshopper and the ant. This is the beginning of that story. So there's that. And again, it's a really big kind of anthology about 20 some odd stories. And a lot of them are from Aesop's Fables and a couple of adaptations from Hans Christian Andersen. So there's a bunch of different stories there. The other one that we got that's kind of like that is this, uh, the fairy tale book. And again, this one has a lot of stuff from adaptations, really, from the Brothers Grimm, Hans Christian Andersen, and things like that. There's a couple things from Africa in here and stuff. But again, uh, no pictures, just print and braille. And again, I will actually buy stuff. Uh, uh, print copies if I can manage to find it. This is just a compilation. It says Calico Mother Goose Book of Earth, Moon, and Sky. So all the nursery rhymes in here are related to that kind of theme. Earth, Moon, and Sky. Um, that's the introduction of it. There's no pictures. There's like 20 some odd, I think. Um, nursery rhymes in here and Hold on, it's kind of a bulky book, so I'm going to turn it so I can read the title, because I just opened it. Oh look, there's a version of Little Bo Peep there, and The Man in the Wilderness, and a couple of, just a bunch of different earthy kind of nursery rhymes, which is pretty cool. I like getting books that in, kind of introduce him to different, kind of unique themes. So, And then he had... As for Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and here it is. That I know I can find very easily. So I'm going to actually buy him a copy of that so he can read along with me. And then we got, he had asked if there was any books about dinosaurs. And I actually found the Magic Treehouse 1 and Dinosaurs Before Dark. And again, just print and braille, no pictures. And I think that's it. I guess that was it for that. That was my unboxing from seedlings.org, which I love. That place. Um, we buy books there from there pretty regularly. And then the books I got from the museum, <laughs> this is going to be pretty tricky. I got from the dinosaur book, which I have the braille, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be holding it upside down, backwards, or some form of it, because I have to braille this. And I actually use a brailler, or <laughs> um, we just got an embosser, which I will definitely show you guys in a different video. As soon as we learn how to use it. Yes, and that we can verify that it's usable. Um, those things are thousands of dollars, and we actually got a really, really inexpensive one for a couple hundred off of eBay, and we will see if it works. But it's a board book, a regular board book with pictures, and I have to actually get this brailed. So there was that book, it's a dinosaur book, and then here is another dinosaur book that we got with Bella. This one I'm pretty sure I'm holding a little more accurately because, can you see, honey? Mm hmm You gotta lift it up. You couldn't keep keeping it down, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a big book. Anyway, see, we just it's a regular book. 
But in another way that this, my husband will actually read with the kids is that we have the book and book on CD. So we actually have a little CD player that we play the book. Della reads along in the print book, usually sitting on our laps and then in one of our laps. And then we listen to the CD, and that's just a different way that we are able to read to our kids. So that's pretty much it. I thought I would show you guys my unboxing and give you a little bit of insight on how we read to the kids since I absolutely love reading and I think it's so important for kids to be read to and whatnot. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys, well, in my next video. And don't forget, if you have any comments or questions, make sure you can just leave them down below and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.